The biggest impact of climate change to coral reefs is due to um, increasing sea surface temperature. So as CO2 uh, builds up in the atmosphere, it, both the air and the water warms. And so we've actually already seen warming of about 0.5 to 0.7 degrees Celsius um, across the world ocean, surface oceans. And this means a lot to coral reefs actually because they are an animal that lives what we call really close to their thermal tolerance. And so they have a very small range of temperatures at which they do best in. And temperatures of even one degree Celsius above the warmest temperature they see in the summertime can actually cause um, significant stress. Rising temperatures uh, throughout uh, the, the global seas uh, in coral reef ecosystems means the proliferation of more diseases. It means things like coral bleaching, uh, the death of corals uh, due to basically overheating, uh, and then this notion of ocean acidification. These reef building corals can no longer really build the, the hard structures due to this change in ocean chemistry. The problem now is that there's so many of these different threats and then you overlay the threat of climate change um, with the sea surface temperature increase with ocean acidification. Um, and the reefs are less healthy in general and so it's harder for the reef then to recover from these other events or stresses. The biggest thing that we can do to stop the threat of climate change to coral reefs is to stop putting as much carbon dioxide into the atmosphere to actually stop the warming we're seeing. There are things that we can do um, locally uh, to improve resilience of reefs. And so the Coral Reef Conservation Program's approach is one of science and research to better understand impacts of climate change to coral reefs, and then using that information to build tools and products for managers to better understand reef resilience and how to increase the health of their reefs and what, what actions they can take on the ground. And then also to assist in education of stakeholders, of those people who use the reef, so that we're, we're using the reefs as smartly as we can. If we address carbon emissions and we are able to stabilize the temperature changes that we're seeing, um, I think that we're still at a point where reefs can become healthy and flourishing again.